Hello everybody, welcome back. We just took a little detour on the mini-series for the Elite Speak Translator. Hopefully everyone had fun with that and was able to build that translator. Again, if you have any questions about that or if you're stuck at any point, you can just feel free to send me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. So what we're going to jump into now, we're going to talk about uh, parameters and variables and if you look at the code that I have here on the screen go ahead take a second pause the video copy it exactly as it's written and then come back to the video but what I'm gonna do is just go line by line and try to explain it the best way I can okay so for line number two there this line we have the actual import statement. So what we're saying is is from system import argv is just arguments. That's all that means. So that's what we're importing from this system. You can call it library module. It all got, it all really depends on who you talk to, but I think I call them libraries. Some people call them modules. It's really not a big deal. So why do we use these statements, these import statements? Because this is, gives, gives us the flexibility and Python allows us, there are plenty of these built-in um, module libraries that we have access to. But instead of just dropping them all in and slowing everything down, we can just pull in what we need and that's just, I think, a much uh, more effective way to go about it. Okay, and going down to line number four. All right, uh, you see this is kind of backwards. All right, I'll just explain what's going on here. Okay, it's it's a, the argument value is obviously a standard uh, value in I don't know lots of different programming language. This variable right here holds the the um, the arguments you pass through the Python script and I'll show you what that looks like when you run it and don't worry about it I'll show you what it what it that's actually talking about so now we have our print statements and these four ah, these four variables here that I was talking about, they see how they match up with the print statements. So when I run the script, um, you'll see what I'm talking about, how it's going to be replaced by these four arguments. This sounds a little confusing, even to myself, and I'm trying to explain it. So I'll just show you what it looks like when I run the script. So this is XJ17. And all right, so let's do Python XJ17Py and see what happens. Oh, traceback, most recent call last. Script first, second, third, I need one more value to unpack. Hmm. So let's try that again. And then this time we'll define uh, first. So we'll say first. We'll just say first. Oh. Need more than two values to unpack. OK. So let's first and let's do second. Oh, uh, we need more than three values to unpack. Jeez. All right, let's do third. Oh, there we go. Now it runs. So, actually, let me open this up. And if you see, let me make this just a little zoomed in. This is what happened to it, okay? We tried to run it originally, and it said, I need more than one value to unpack. Okay, to unpack this is what it's, to, to unpack it. Um, so what we did was we tried to do it and we gave it 
one argument or one yeah you know, one argument. Nothing happened. It said we need to give it two. So we said okay, let's give it two arguments. And it said no 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 no. <laughs> it needs more than three. So we set it to script first, second, and third up here. And we just pass those values into our print statements, right? And basically, we just called it all on the on the command line instead of having to go in and manually do it. And then here it goes. It spits out your script is called, um, you know, exercise 17.py. That's script, okay? Because this one follows the actual execution. So Python right here and then we do ex17 first okay after the python after the python comes in then our script is matched up to this and then our first is matched up to this and then as you can see you know first and second and when we finally got it right our example is the script call our first variable is right there and so on and so forth so this is going to require some practicing to understand but for a very small amount of code you've given it some flexibility and let me show you what I mean by that so if I call the same glass the same thing and I execute that script and I give it apples oranges Grapefruit. I misspell grapefruit. All right, and then look, it works. It spits it back out, and I didn't have to go into the code and do anything, right? So I'm getting a dynamic output without having to do a whole lot of work. Kind of cool. So, and we can replace this with anything we want. We can just say stuff like this. And you see how it breaks it down. Your first variable is this, your second variable is that, your third variable is that. Pretty cool. So, what can we do with this? Lots of stuff. Here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. But go ahead and pause the video again and copy this exactly. Okay. Um, exactly how you see it. And... Uh, pause the video and then come back and then I'll, I'm going to explain it. Alright so we have our same import statement as the last script so we, we understand what that's doing. All right, We understand that that's importing this arguments library class of this library system. So we have script and username okay is those are our arguments all right. So what this should tell you is that when we run this script right here, we're going to write down the script file. So in this case, it'd be ex18.py, and then we're going to include a username, a username variable. Okay. Now we have prompt here. Pretty cool. Just a global variable to give kind of a systematic prompt there. And what's cool about this is if you look at these raw inputs that we have that we're going to go over, we just pass the prompt through them and it just spits it out every time so we don't have to, you know, repeat yourself, don't repeat yourself, the dry method. Okay, so our first print statement makes sense. We've already done this before. So format, username, and script. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you like me, username? And then likes. Where do you live? What kind of computer do you have? All right, and then we combine everything at the end. So let's run this and see what happens. So all the way back, and we're gonna do 18.py. Oh, we get an error. Need more than one value to unpack. That's right, I remember we have to include a name of some sort so let's just use my name ah now our scripts running hi I'd like to ask you a few questions do you like me sure uh, 
Michigan. MacBook Pro. All right. So you said sure about liking me. You live in Michigan. Not sure where that is. And you have a MacBook Pro computer. Nice. Now I see how that kind of flowed. It was just really, just it just flowed really easily. And it included my name into the variable. Like if I tried to give it another, if I tried to do that again, and I gave it two names. So I said Brent. Too many values to unpack. Reason being is we didn't give it that. So what we could do is we could go back into here and then we could change this username to last name or first name. And then la why do I keep doing it? Such habit. Last name right there. And then how we just add it in is just very simple. We just copy it, paste it, paste it, paste it, wherever we find it, and then last name. Just copy it. And we'll paste it right there. It's going to put a space, but I'm okay with that. Not that big a deal to me. Then we'll put that there. We'll put that there. And all right. Let's see if we run this, if we get an error or not. This time we're going to run it with first and last name. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Is I didn't. I still only have my first name coming through there. So what happened? Well, I think the error is in our print statement. OK. So we included the first and not the other, uh, the last name. So what we need to do is just space that. And anywhere we included that, we just need to uh, space that out. And or maybe we can just leave off the let's leave off the last name there. I think that's kind of and let's leave it off there too. Actually, it was just more work than I needed it. Just saying. Hey, do you like me? But, okay, so let's try to run that again. And there we go. Hi, my full name. I'm this script. I'm like, do you like me, Brent? You see how it's kind of intuitive? Like, I just, okay, I gathered the full last name. And if I wanted to switch that up, you know, if I wanted to say, um, you know, well, if I just wanted to basically go, you know, when I ask the question, where do you live? If, if I, oh, oh, that's right. If I ask the question, where do you live? It's gonna say my last name, where do you live, Phillips? Um, Mac. Okay, so now that we can gather some information and we can use it like we're doing right now, the next thing we're going to do in the next video is learn how to read files and we're going to start incorporating all of this stuff together and then we're going to get into functions a little later on down the road. So thanks for watching. Sorry if this was a long one. It just took a little more explaining than, it, than normal. So uh, see you in the next one.